Hello and welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Totera. Hello everyone, come into my shop and buy all these potions I just randomly got from a mysterious pony that I have no idea. Oh, so what kind of potions do you have? Well, uh, I have this one potion that can turn you into a Pokemon, uh, another one that can uh, give you superpowers, and uh, that's all I got so far. Superpowers? What kind of superpowers are we talking about here? Well, see, that's that's the thing. Before you drink it, you think of a superpower you want, and then once you thought of the power you want, then you drink it, and then it becomes your superpower. <laughs> that can go so, in so many wrong places. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, but anywho, in today's episode review, we are going to review Pony Life Season 1, episode 13? Is it 13? Well, I think really? you put it 14. 14, yeah. Well, why do I put 13? That's strange. Yes, uh, episode <laughs> 14, Meet Potion Nova and Pony Surfing Safari. In this episode, or in Meet Potion Nova, the main six meets the mysterious pony who provides all their magical potions. And in, posing, po- in Pony Surfing Safari, Applejack pressures her friends to do activity as a group while they are on a vacation. So, Tara, what do you think about po- Potion Nova? I think it was pretty nice, actually. I like how... Uh... I like how it starts off. I like how they introduce the new character. We uh, and I know there's a little animation error at the beginning, but we'll get to that are when it comes. Are you sure? Are you sure there's an error? Because I'm trying to think like, are they messing with us? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I like the new character's personality, and I like how they played things off in this episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and as for me, it was kind of cool. I I like this episode. This is. This is kind of rare, but here's the thing. Did it dumb down the main six just to make Potion Nova good? You think so? I'm not. I'm asking because that's the thing. Because uh, previous pony writers, especially in Applejack's case, had to dumb down uh, Applejack just so that the rest could look good. And in this scenario here, did they do that? And in all honesty, no. Yes and no. Because the ponies themselves are already dumbed down. But no, because the ponies themselves are already dumbed down. <laughs> so yeah, Potion Nova is kind of sweet and really cool. I, I like her personality. She She's a really nice addition to the crew. Uh, well, you know what? Let's hold Pony Surfing Safari for a bit. So anyway, if you guys have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So in this episode, we catch our leads uh, in Sugar Cube Corner trying to wonder what the hell happened. They they did a stakeout at night and it didn't work. Like uh, the mysterious pony or creature that comes in and fills the potion cabinet is struck again. Like how how does she how do they do it? And Twilight is really frustrated with this because she really wants to know, really wants to learn from said potion maker. And the rest of the girls are in the same boat, but also they just state out that, why are we so boring? We used to go on adventures. I I think that was Twilight Sign, but still. uh, She says that you used to go on adventures and stuff, but now it feels like we're just in a sitcom kind of show. For all breaking by Pinkie Pie. And then when Rarity tries to lighten up the mood by talking about me, 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 um, the door opens and smokes pop out and rainbows. Rainbows are there. Amazing color rainbows. To introduce Potion Nova. And when Potion Nova comes in, um, it's, it's, it's one of those things where um what what am i what, what, what am i seeing here like what is this is this a new alicorn pony what what, what? <laughs> and it's not it's never addressed it's never addressed so anyway potion nova comes in 
and trips on her rainbow and says, oh, uh, silly stuff makes funny s- stuff. So, yes, uh, she comes into Sugar Cube Corner asking for help, uh, mostly from the ponies, wanting them to help her go to the potion island. I, I don't know. There's a specific name for it. Do you remember, Terra? I think it was like called the... um. Potion Ocean? Ah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, Potion Nova is recruiting the ponies to head to the Potion Ocean for adventure. Ooh. So, the girls are interested and are game. Twilight, on the other hand, is very... (laughs) She's too hyper. She's too hyper excited and whatnot. And it's kind of hinting that she wants to be Potion Nova's apprentice. And yeah, they head off on the adventure. No, not really adventure, but they just head off. So I'm going to pause here. So Tara, what do you think? Well, I like how it starts off, how Applejack's like, oh, not much to do today. And Twilight mentions how it's like, what happened to us? We used to go on adventures, fight evil, real, uh, regale each other with lore. It's like, are you talking about your good days with friendship is magic? And then even Pinky mentions how, yeah, it does seem like we go on less adventures and more of comedic stuff. It's like, yep, they know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they, they know. <laughs> they know. Uh, and Silver mentions, oh, it's a separate universe, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe you, Silver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's proven here. This is its own canon. <laughs> yeah, it's shown now that uh, this is connected. Yep, it, it's, it's a shared canon. It's a shared canon. But then when Potion Nova enters, yes, you do see her, like, with... Uh, she's an alicorn. You do see her with a horn and wings, but then later on, the wings are gone. So it's like... What? And then she de- she does mention herself how she's a unicorn that just makes potions. It's like, okay, so she says that she's a unicorn. So the whole thing with her having wings must be an animation error. But at the same time, too, it's so obvious that it's kind of not really because there's a part where she's flying with Rainbow Dash. Okay, flying is not the right word. It's like floating. And you see her have wings. And <laughs> so it's one of those things where you're trying to play with me here, aren't you? Like, you know we're just going to point that out and wonder what's going on here. Yeah. If it's that's, if that's the case, I applaud them for doing so because it is mean, dirty, and I like it. <laughs> but anywho, um, anything more to that, Tara? Uh, just about Twilight, how she's so excited to go on this adventure. It's like, oh, we're finally going on an adventure after all these comedic situations. We're going to go on a dangerous adventure. And then she comes across a small colt or a filly. Uh, either one. It's just a small little pony. And, you know, he's trying to like, hey there, troll. What is our riddle? It's like, I'm not a troll. I'm just crossing the bridge. He's like, is that part of the riddle? It's like, yeah. come on. <laughs> Yeah, and and this is where the part, and this is the part where Twilight is too eager, overly eager, and Fosho Nova has, just has to step in and says, "Ah, sorry, my friend is special." Uh, but anywho, I think I should carry on from there. Actually, one little sorry, one little thing I do want to point out is that I'm glad that this small little cult isn't like the other one with um. I forget the episode name or the character. I think it was like Dishwater Slog or something like that. Yeah, yeah, him. him. And w- that little cult was where Rainbow Dash was his fan. I'm glad. I'm glad that this one isn't like the previous one. I-, I think this is just a stallion. I don't know. He looks a bit smaller than Twilight. But, but there's a thing. Um, in this universe, we got no idea the proportions. O- all we know that, okay, this is how Twilight looks like. We we haven't seen a male character. Uh, a proper male character that we recognize. Uh, we see the three emo guys, uh, dishwasher, uh, fancy pants, and they're not memorable at all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but but anywho, I'm going to carry on. So anywho, yes. after crossing the bridge, uh, they see a cavern. Or, uh, they see a cavern. Uh, the bridge is out and Twilight decides, oh, I know how to do this. If you believe there's a bridge, you can walk on it. And Portia Nova has to stop her and says, no, that, that, that's a terrible idea. Um, 
how do they even cross the bridge? No, no, they, they just cross it in a what you call this um, screen transition. Yeah. So, like the Poke- like the Japanese Pokemon team, they go through snow, water, and uh, so on uh, the desert, and well, they reach the ocean or something like that, and. They discover, oh, here is the place. Now, let's relax. So, Pushonova just talks to... Well, Twilight talks to Pushonova, saying, uh, If the track here was easy, why did you want our help for adventuring? And Pushonova just says, Oh, yeah, I just needed uh, help to carry those potions back home, since you're the only ponies that have been uh, consuming it. And... Having you guys around is much fun too. And they have a good laugh. Everybody there have fun and episode ends. So the next one is Pony Surfing Safari. So in this one, Applejack. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is the Applejack one. So Tara, what do you think? I thought... It w- Wait, we still t- uh, giving our full summary of the first one or are we talking about the second one now? Uh, talking about the second one, we, we just move on. <laughs> Okay. Like, uh, <laughs> this is not final thoughts. This is just first impressions. Oh, okay. Well, first impressions <laughs> for this episode, I, uh, I okay. They they just prove that this is canon to friendship is magic. But then in this one, it's like they went backwards because Applejack. Uh, I feel like um, I feel like this is a flashback to something. I don't know, but I know. In Friendship of Magic, one of the characters wanted to do something together, but people are doing their own things. It's like, no, we're doing it this way. We're doing it my way. And then it's like, oh, here's how you're doing things. And it's like, yeah, I know it sounds familiar somewhere, but I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I remember. I remember something like that. Like, we review something similar. Or maybe it's in the comics. Oh, maybe. Man, I, I don't remember. But it feels familiar. Or could that be the idea? You know what now? Um, but still, it's one of those things where, yeah. But still, this is good. Oh, I think that could be the previous, no, the next one. But still. Uh, yeah, the, the, the part where Applejack, oh man. This is one of those cases where we have to make Applejack dumb to make everyone else look good. <laughs> Poor Applejack. Yep, 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 yep. And she's... Oh, man. It, uh, I, I could have... Uh, they should have just stuck stuck that thing with Twilight. Like, the whole too eager and stuff. Yeah. But anywho, let's carry on. So, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So, we meet up with the heroes at the beach. Hanging out, doing their own things. And having fun. Potion Nova comes in, just checking out on the ponies, telling them don't go into the Bermuda Triangle. Ooh. But they have a much cuter name, I forgot. Um, triangle or something, cutie something, whatever. I think it was called like so, a cute triangle. A cute tri- <laughs> yeah, something similar. Oh, let me double check because I know I have it here. So yeah, it's called the cute triangle. That's literally what it's called. <laughs> The cute triangle? Yep, just stay away from the cute triangle. Once you're lost, you're lost forever. Okay, have fun. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the team. But anywho, Potion Nova says stay out. So the ponies guess heard the warning and just wants to hang out and stuff. So yeah, um, ponies doing their own things, going to hang out. And Applejack suggests, yo guys, let's, uh, what you call this? Do something together as a quote unquote family. And let's roast some marshmallows. Yay, that's fun, right? So they do, and they notice somebody's missing. Oh, who could it be? It's the fast and marketable one. And she is playing volleyball with the crabs. Or the crab. And said crab is not appreciative of it getting smacked in the head with a ball. So. Applejack drags Rainbow Dash away and goes back to roasting marshmallows. 
and when she arrives, everybody's gone. And this is the whole pattern where, oh, Applejack grabs Sid Pony, Sid Pony's missing and whatnot. And till where nobody's around and she's frustrated. Potion Nova pops in, says that, oh, I feel something. My spidey senses are tingling. That means my magic is going to work on something. It's going to be a special thing. Yes. The next day, Applejack wakes everybody up, telling them, okay, I kind of subscribe you all to some surfing thing, and we're going to do it as a team or a group. Yeah, let's do it. And I'm going to pause here. Tara, what do you think, man? I mean, can't really say much right now because it's just one of those things. Which it, uh, like, again, it's just one of those things you can't really say much. It just starts off with them having a good time. Then Applejack wants to have a uh, group activity together, but everyone's doing their own thing. And then from there, she's just planning on what to do. Like, she's, she snips Fluttershy's kites and drags her along. And then Rarity's trying to find her glasses. She's like, oh, I think it's over there. And it's like, yeah. It's... <laughs> Yeah, and th- that seems to be the pattern with Applejack now. Like, she wants to do stuff together, but the rest of the gang have their own thing that they wanted to do. And forcing somebody to do something that they don't want is a recipe for disaster. Yes. So, I'm going to carry on. So, they go onto the water, and it seems... Well, yeah, they, 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 they play with... or they, they do the activity that Applejack wants, but... Uh, each of them wants to do their own thing. Twilight and Fluttershy wants to go into a cave. Rarity is just hanging out on a rock, putting on some suntan lotion, saying that, oh, her lotion is not strong enough in the SPF category. Uh, Rainbow Dash is surfing the waves, and Pinkie Pie wants to eat. Applejack is pissed and tells everybody to stick close together and do everything together closely and nobody runs away from that spot and everybody is not feeling great and suddenly um, they did the thing that they weren't supposed to do which is stay away from the cute triangle and somehow they got sucked into it and they are missing forever episode ends I lied there's more (laughs) So, in the cute triangle, we see there's a lot of missing items, like Rarity's sunglasses and what, that one pair of missing socks that you always miss. This is where the thing goes, and Applejack realizes, oh, this is my fault, I shouldn't have done that and stuff. But, you know what, I have a solution for this. Let's gather up to our things that we lost and let's get out of here with the power of friendship. I'm guessing that's what happened, right? Is it? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so yay, uh, with the power of friendship, they get out of the uh, portal and end up back on the beach. And yeah, they, they learned their lesson. They learned their lessons. And Potion Nova comes by, uh, comes along saying, Yo, guys, remember that thing that I said that was magical with my magic and whatnot? Uh, I entered a uh, contest to guess how many gumballs are in this gumball machine thingy. And the girl says, Oh, uh, did you won? She announced that she won. But the question was, did you got it right? Nope, totally wrong. But since I was the only contestant, by default, I won the prize. <laughs> That that was good. That was, that got a chuckle out of me. <laughs> uh, she won by default. <laughs> uh, now they have a lot of gumballs, and with that episode ends. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh man, Tara, what do you think, man? Uh, overall, <laughs> so at the beginning, like I said, I thought it was, you know. Uh, I guess you could say cliche or whatnot, because again, it doesn't really, it just starts off nowhere. It's like, yeah, you know, she wants to do something fun. They don't, they want to do their own things. Like, yeah, okay. And then later on, you know, something does, interesting does happen where they get trapped into this thing. And we get a, we get a little lesson here where it's like, you know, 
res- I guess it's like respect for what they want to do. Or like, say, for example, you want to go on vacation, but you can't be that controlling because everyone wants to do their own thing. <clears throat> and, you know, with the power of friendship, because they even mentioned that Rainbow Dash is like, does it- will this even work? And Ap- Apple Jack's like, it always has. <laughs> And then poof, they're out, and I'd like the little end gag where Potion Over is like, "Oh, I got it wrong, but since I was the only one that entered, I won." I know that was too good. Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of sad for the <clears throat> um, contest maker, but it's kind of funny too. Oh man, it's one of those things, man. It's one of those things. Yeah. So it it was all right in my opinion. Yeah. True. 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 Uh, as for me, this episode was fun. I I like the story. I mean, uh, if you notice, uh, this one was a continuation from the previous one, but not really because it seems like they, uh, how to put this? It seems like it's like a few weeks after the what you call this? After the previous episodes so yeah it's kind of okay i find it entertaining but overall uh said episode was fun said episode was fun and either i'm getting soft or pony life is getting better who knows so so tara what is up for next week well next week we're gonna look at uh what was episode 15 because mm. I know on the wiki, I know they do like separate things. It was like, yeah, this one's called 18 and then the next one's called 19, even though there's two episodes in one. Yeah. Um, wait, wiki does that? Because for me, it's just 15. Um, episode we're going to review is uh, season one, episode 15, all bottled up and all that jitters. Yes. <clears throat> so yeah, we're doing another Pony Life episode back to back. Haha, that's rare for us. And also, I didn't find any comics that we had time to review. So this is kind of a quick one for us. Not really when you look at the time, surprisingly. But anywho, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theimageofgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortero1324. Or they can just search my name on Google and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome. Go check it out, guys. Uh, and also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Bye-bye. Have you ever wondered where your missing socks goes? I mean, have you? Because I, up until recently, haven't really used the public dryer or washer. And when I wash my clothes, sometimes the socks go missing. And I'm thinking like, wait, what? how? How? I, I remember putting a pair of socks in here. How, how did one disappear? simple someone from narnia steals it what really yep <laughs> like there's a there, I, I thought narnia uses that door not the washing machine maybe there's a secret entrance oh I, those narnia people are gonna get it from me i, I need to get my socks back <laughs>